Okay, so, so far we have created and added a new script to our paddle, which is known as paddle script. So as you can see, here is the script that we have created. Now this script is outside all folders inside the assets folder. But since we have created a separate folder for scripts, so we're gonna drag this paddle script and drop it inside the scripts folder. So now all our scripts will be organized inside this scripts folder. So let us double click this paddle script to open it in mono Developer. To edit it, we need to just double click it and after double clicking it, it will automatically be opened in our mono Developer, which is the default which is the default code editor for Unity. So as you can see here, we have this paddle script opened. So now here we have to write code by which the paddle will be moved. Now before doing anything, as you can see here we have added a rigid body 2D component to the paddle. So from the code we want to access that rigid body 2D and we want to access all the functionalities of that rigid body 2D. So if we want to do that, here we have to create a public variable of type rigid body 2D. So let's do that. Write public rigid body 2D and let's name the variable rb which is short for rigid body okay so when i do that you can see that in the scripts after it gets updated in the scripts as you can see we have a slot named rb so this is the rigid body this is the public rigid body that we have created here so as you can see it is none empty so that means we have to add the rigid body that we want to access now since we want to access the rigid body that is attached to the paddle so we are just gonna drag and drop the paddle right here so as you can see now it doesn't say none it says paddle red rigid body okay so we have added the rigid body 2d component of the paddle here so now we can access all these functionalities from our script since we have access to the rigid body 2d component okay so in the script, now we can access all these functionalities. So if we want to move our paddle, so we need to move it left, we need to move it right, and whenever we are not doing anything, we just want it to stay still. So for that, we're going to create three different functions, and we're going to call that whenever we need them. Okay? So first of all, let's create void move left. So this function will be responsible for moving the paddle in the left direction. So create another move right. This will be responsible for moving the paddle in the right direction. And let's create another function and I'm going to name it void stop so what this function will do is this function will stop the movement of the paddle whenever we are not pressing any key okay so how can we now add the functionality to move left move right and stop as you can see we already have access to this rigid body and this rigid body component has a property called, called velocity this velocity is the speed by which the object moves in any direction. Now here we want to move the object in the left and right direction in the x-axis. Okay, so we have to give it a velocity in the x-axis. Okay, so in the move right function, if we want to give the velocity to the rigid body 2D, as you can see here we have created the rigid body 2D which is named RB, so if we want to give it the velocity, then we can write rb dot velocity, and by writing this velocity, we can give it a velocity. Okay? Now we can't write just 10 and give it a velocity of 10, because Unity will not allow that. If we just keep the cursor over this velocity, currently it is not coming, but it should come. If we just click the cursor over velocity, as you can see here, velocity is a type vector2. So a vector2 always takes two values, a x value 
and another y value so if we want to add a velocity then we have to create a new factor 2 and within that we need to pass a x value and a y value okay so let's do that so in order to create a new factor 2 we're gonna write equal sign and then write new vector 2 okay and inside that vector 2 as you can see we have to pass two variables the x and the y now if you take a look at here if you take a look at here we want our paddle to move in the x direction okay so we always want to give it a velocity in the x direction but we don't want it to move in the y direction we don't want it to move like this so we will give the y velocity always zero and we will give it a velocity in the x direction now if we want to move it to the right direction like this then we have to give it a positive velocity in the x direction since this is positive x and if we want it to give a negative velocity like if we want to move like this then we have to give it a negative velocity on the left direction okay so for moving right we have to give it a positive velocity and for moving left we have to give it a negative velocity in the x axis okay so in order to do that we need to create a new vector 2 and in the inside the vector 2 we can pass two options for the first term we can pass the x value and for the second one we can pass the y value and we have said that we want to make the y value 0 since we don't want to pass anything in the y value but for the x value we have to pass a speed by which we want to move our paddle okay so here let us create a new public variable public float speed so this is the speed by which we want to move our paddle on the left and right direction so in the x-axis instead of writing a value we can write speed so whatever value we give this give to the speed value our paddle will move with that value or with that speed okay so let us repeat that one more time so we have this RB which is the rigid body 2d that is attached to this paddle it has a velocity component which is a vector 2 and if we want to assign a value to this velocity then we have to create a new vector 2 and for creating a new vector 2 we need to have two values x value and y value since we don't want our paddle to move in the y direction so we made our y value 0 and since we want to move in the x direction that is why we have given a value in the x direction and for that we have created a different speed variable and we can give any value to this speed variable and our paddle will be moved with that value okay now in the right in case of move right we want it to move the paddle in the right direction so we want it to give we want to give the uh, we want to give its x component a positive value so that is why we have written speed here which is a positive value but in case of move left we want the pedal to move with same speed but on the opposite direction on the left direction so if we want it to move in the left direction all you need to do is just select and copy this whole thing paste it right in there and in front of the speed variable we just need to write a minus sign so that means we want to move it in the negative direction on the left side okay so now after writing this as you can see in the script in the script in the parallel script we have a new slot which it says speed this speed is this public variable that we have created so we have to give it a speed by which we want to move our parallel so for the speed let us give 5 and later on we can change it to any value we want so now if I run it and if I try to do anything nothing will work because we have just written the function but we haven't said unity how to do this or when to call this okay so we have just written these functions on how to move left and how to move right but we haven't said it why and when to move it left or right so we're gonna do that in the next video but before doing that one more thing I'm gonna do is whenever we are not doing anything we want to pause we want to stop the velocity of this battle.
so in order to do that we're just gonna say rb dot velocity equals vector 2 dot 0 and this will make the velocity of the paddle 0 okay so that's it for this video in the next video we will actually move the paddle by writing the controls see you in the next video